better wait. Hello, <laughs> stampers. I tried to sneak away quick before I went live, but it didn't work out so good. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com, coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Hang tight. I forgot my crown. Oh my gosh, we can't stamp without our crown, can we? <laughs> and I forgot to switch out my glasses, because we know I can't read the screen with those glasses. There we go. Hi, Charlene. Hi, Heather. I saw somebody else. Sharon popped in. Sue, welcome. How's everybody doing tonight? Judith is here and Betty, Rose, yay! Happy post 4th of July. I hope everybody still has their fingers. I didn't do any. I didn't. Yeah. Haley goes, whoa, mom, you got some sun. I know, right? Look at I think I got a little toasted today. A little bit of sun yesterday. We had a great weekend. We um, went up Friday to visit my mom and stayed overnight there and went um, went out for, well, I went and got carry out fish. So we had Friday night fish fry. Mm, it's the best. And um, we stayed overnight and packed up my summer home. For those of you that might be new, that's my camper. I like to call it my summer home because that's kind of fancy. <laughs> and um, we headed to Plainfield, Wisconsin to um, a friend's house they have a home on a lake and so we went there from Saturday and came home today and it was so nice and I spent a lot of time in the water and they have a little pontoon boat so we got to ride around the lake it's a really small lake but it's crystal clear and you can see the fish swimming around it's very cool I didn't get to see many fireworks last night just a few because I was in bed by nine. <laughs> I may or may not have had a margarita or two. <laughs> we had a great weekend. Steve followed behind me not too long. <laughs> so we were in bed early. Yeah, we weren't partying all night or anything like that, but we had just a really nice day. It was very relaxing. We had um, grilled chicken and potatoes for dinner and um, taco dip or derbies. It was just really delicious. Yes, Lori says Plainfield. That's the home of Ed Gein. If any of you don't know who Ed Gein is, I'm not sure you want to look that up because it's pretty disgusting. Um, yeah, that's what Plainfield is known for. <clears throat> the home of Ed Gein. <laughs> Funny story too. My dad was working construction. He was working on a road crew back when that was all going on. And he was, um, he paved the highway by Ed Gein's house. The one that, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, it was kind of a creepy. <laughs> it was something my dad told me that I was stuck in my head. I don't know why the creepy things stick, right? So yeah, and Angie's here. Good morning, Angie. Angie and I celebrate the same birthday. She also told me recently that July 7th is um, World Chocolate Day. So, yay us, right? <clears throat> Little update. I am less than $5,000 away from my next $10,000 increment to get to my million dollar sales total. Hi, Brody. I see Brody just popped in. Brody's going to be giving me new windows soon. I'm excited about that. Um, so I'm getting, I'm less than $5,000 away from breaking the next chain. We only have two left, you guys. It's pretty exciting. And yeah, Donna says I have a nice tan. I do. I got a lot of sun this weekend. Usually I am already this color several weeks ago, but gosh, you guys, I have been working so much that I haven't had a lot of outdoor time and I'm going to change that. As of this weekend, I decided I need to change that. So I will be spending more time outside, less time inside. Um, Lori said Ed Gein's house was burned to the ground. Yes, it was, and thankfully so, because it's just very disturbing. There's a lot of weird stuff that happens in Wisconsin, right? But um, I just want to let you guys know I don't have any John news. I think John's on vacation, so... Um, there's nothing happening with him. I've had a few people ask me, so I just wanted to give you a little update on that. And I'm ex super excited because my summer home is now in my driveway. And that really makes me want to go camping. So, I don't know. I, we might just jump in the camper and go someplace. Not sure. 
close, maybe a little far away. I don't know. We'll have to see. Haley, are you freaking out? <laughs> don't freak out, honey. We're not going to go far. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Whose father-in-law was working? Kathy Sanford's father-in-law was working for the gas company and he had to go to Edgine's house to check on the gas connection. Rawr. Creepy stuff. Yeah, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, Google it. It's really sick. Um, <laughs> yeah. So here's another little sick tidbit. When I was um, much younger, like probably high school, just out of getting out of high school, m some of my friends had um, a softball team, a guy, a men's softball team, and it was called Ed Gein's Lampshades and Upholstery Service or something like that. Really sick. <laughs> yeah, I come from a long line of sick people and friends, but we have a good time. So anyways, just wanted to remind you guys, we have bonus days going on right now. Bonus days is for every $50 that you spend before tax and shipping, you get, um, <laughs> just saw Haley's comment, don't leave me, mom. <laughs> um, for every $50 that you spend before tax and shipping, you get a $5 bonus. Now that is happening for the month of July up to, I believe, August 3rd. On August 4th, through the end of August, you can start redeeming those $5 coupons. There's no limit to the amount of coupons that you can earn. And bonus days is always a very popular promotion. Stampin' Up! has done, done it for the last several years. So I've earned myself a whole bunch of bonus coupons. I just put in my pre-order for the new mini catalog. Oh my gosh, you guys. I know it seems really early because it is. It's a month early. Stampin' Up! has changed some of the dates. So, um, and Haley can't wait to see me tomorrow. I can't wait to see you and my baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is coming out. The um, holiday catalog is coming out a whole month early, you guys. And um, I'm really, really excited about it. It seems crazy. We just got a new annual catalog and now we have a new mini catalog. But it's true. And um, Stamping Up Demonstrators or Discount Shoppers, we don't discriminate. They get to pre-order out of this mini catalog. So if you have ever thought about being a discount shopper, you will have a lot of fun being on my team, number one. Number two, you could order your entire kit out of this catalog. So if you have any questions about that, don't hesitate to ask me. My team is a very fun place to be, and it's a lot better to be part of something so much bigger than it is all by yourself at home stamping, right? Yeah, I just saw a comment here. Hang on, I gotta look at it. It says, Julie says, OMG, I just Googled him. Yeah, he's disgusting. So I want you guys to stick with me for my stamping show, and then you can go Google it, Keen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, um, what else do we have going on? I told you that August 4th is when you can redeem your um, bonus coupons. Also, August 4th is when the new mini catalog will be available for purchase for um, people who are not discount shoppers. So, Marcia says, nice tan you got going there. I know, right? I know that sun is, like, not good for you and all that stuff, but... Um, I don't know. I just think fat looks a lot better tan than it does white, and I'm going with it. <laughs> I've always said that. It's true, though, right? <laughs> and um, if you don't want to get a suntan, that's fine. I completely respect your right not to do that. But um, I'm getting myself a tan because I love me some summer. <laughs> All right, let me see. I was going to share with you guys. I got this little package of caramels from Vanda Walls candy store which is right here in Appleton and um, it came it's happy birthday from Mike Zimmer Brandon Warman at Zimmer Financial Group and that is my brother-in-law and Steve moved some of his um, retirement money into him he runs um, a financial group he's a financial planner this was probably full when I got it. I'm not quite sure what happened to the rest of the caramels in here. No, I'm just kidding. I ate them. <laughs> and they're so good. 
they were perfect for my little dessert today and I don't know what you guys are drinking but Steve made me a um, fruit smoothie he's got like these bags of frozen all kinds of different fruits and berries and whatever and he makes these smoothies mm. they're nice and cold and delicious Haley, please post your mom's address. Sue, I'll tell you my address. Are you going to send me a card? Because I may or may not love them. <laughs> my address is 738 De Pere Street, D-E-P-E-R-E -E Street, Menasha, Wisconsin, 54952. And Lisa used to work for Mike Zimmer. He's a pretty neat guy, right? I like him. And poor Jenny... She got a uh, sunburn and she gets sun poisoning in 10 minutes. My mom gets that also, Jenny. So I complete, completely sympathize with you. When I was a kid, my mom got a um, was out in the sun too long. And this usually s happens to you really early in the season, like April, May-ish. If you get overexposed to the sun, you will then get the sun poisoning. And my mom blew up. She like swelled up and got hives. And her face just blew up like it was all, uh, and you wouldn't even have recognized her. It was so terrible. So my mom is very weary, or leery, leery, not weary. Well, sometimes she's weary. No, she's very leery of the sun also. She's always got a big hat on, and she's always got her sunscreen on. But I totally understand, and I'm really sorry, because that stinks, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew you wouldn't believe, Marsha. You would never believe what happened to these caramels. But I do have to say, I'm not going to lie to you, this was full. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Van de Waals candy. Delicious. Oh, Kathy's working on her best tan ever. Good for you, girlfriend. Kathy's got a brand new deck. I would be too. When is Steve having a slushy party? Well, Judy, are you going to drive up here? We had some people over today in the pool. Not many, though, so it was kind of disappointing. No Sunday fun day here. All my kids were gone. They all went away for the weekend. Well, we did, too, but we just happened to get home early. So I think what I'm going to do... Oh, we have to do prizes. I was going to get right into things. So um, I drew names. Remember, share this video. You can share it right now. You can click on that button and share it right now. Um, there are three ways to win a prize from me. I give away fabulous prizes you're going to see in just a second. <laughs> they are nice. <laughs> um, you can get a, you can, you can get your name drawn for commenting. So if you're new to me, please make sure you're leaving a comment, at least one comment throughout this whole program, because that will enter you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And tonight, the person that is going to win for making a comment last Sunday is Terry Davies. Yay, Terry! I have holiday rhinestone basic jewels for you. And I want to tell you that you need to give me your address. I don't have your address. So please message me or email me your address. And my email address is kelly at astampabove.com. I will hold these for two weeks for you, and then they go back into the drawing pile. So I hope you get a chance to watch if you're not watching right now. Terry Davies. I don't know where she's from. Next. For sharing the video, I have some of our copper trim. This is super, super cool. It's great for making netting, but also copper copper's very hot right now. It's a very trendy color. And this is for sharing. My winner is Karen Drain from Erie, Michigan. Congratulations, Karen. You are my big winner. And Karen, I have your address. Don't worry. I will be getting these off in the mail. Well, I'll get this off to Karen tomorrow. I don't know when Terry's going to contact me, but I hope it's soon. Okay, and next, I'm just watching comments come in, you guys. That's why I always look so funny. I'm like reading my screen right now. Oh, and Faith said she went to a horse show one year and ended up with sun poisoning. Yeah, my mom's eyes did swell shut, Faith. It was horrible. She looked like a monster. I'm not even kidding. And we used to show horses. I used to show horses, so that's kind of cool. Anyways, next, squirrel. <laughs> we have, for placing an order, my winner from last week is Pauline St. Louis, and Pauline is also from Michigan, from Lavinia, Michigan. 
Pauline, you're going to get this brand new stamp set called Happiest of Birthdays. We're going to be using this, I think, tonight, maybe, I don't know. Yes, yes we are. We're going to use it for an inside greeting. So congratulations. I'm going to set all of these things with my note up here so I do not lose them. Oh, I'm running over stuff. Hang on. So um, I was thinking as I was walking over things in my office, because you guys know I put a bunch of stuff on the floor. Haley can vouch for it. Um, I was thinking about, I can't remember her name and I am embarrassed because I can't remember her name, but if you know me well, you know, I can't remember anything pretty much. But anyways, I had somebody who watches me that was in town visiting, I think their sister and she forgot her paper cutter and she was here for a few days and messaged me and I said, come on over, you can use one of my paper cutters. So she stopped by and I let I, I brought her in here and I said, you want to see, you want to see where all the magic happens? And she came to my office door and she goes, oh my, um, it looks bigger <laughs> on <the> screen. <laughs> and what she really meant is, oh my, it is a mess and it is totally a mess right now. And maybe when I turn my camera around, I don't know if I can show you how bad it is. <laughs> it's terrible. Like you could get hurt. Don't worry, Haley. I will have it cleaned up before you get here tomorrow if you're coming tomorrow. Yeah, because it's pretty bad. But anyways, what I'm going to do tonight is I am going to... Hang on. It's daily post about being live. Oh, um, I am going to... We're going to make our cards, and then I'm going to go through my mail because I got some presents. Ah, little Val got some presents. Oh, my gosh. They're so cute. And I have a whole bunch of cards to share with you guys that came in the mail. So... <laughs> Sue says, sign of old age. Yeah, Sue, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and Val is rolling over already, you guys. Not from her stomach to her back, which is the easy way, but from her back to her stomach. Rock star. We didn't expect anything less, did we? No, we didn't. <laughs> okay, let me plug in my phone here. I can't wait to see Val, because I've missed her. I haven't seen her since... Thursday, I think. Right, Haley? You've been gone since Thursday. I've really missed you, too. And, um, oh, I, I have to get myself up on the screen, so just hang tight. We'll chit-chat a little bit more. And Yolanda, you did not miss anything except chit-chat. We have not started stamping yet. I am going to pull you guys up on my screen so I can see the comments. Oh my gosh, I look so red on TV. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am kind of red, right? Yeah. It's okay. It'll it'll tan. Okay, we're ready to turn our camera around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes or look away. And I will let you know when you can open your eyes again. I don't want anybody throwing up. There's no throwing up in stamping. And not yet, we're not ready yet. Let me get this all situated. I like to kind of have it on here straight. And we need some lights, camera, action. And hang on just one second before you open your eyes. I'm going to wipe off my lens on my camera because sometimes that gets kind of, like if I hit it with suntan lotion or something, it gets really icky. There we go. We are good. We are ready to start stamping. Who is ready? Okay, let's see, what are we gonna make first? We're gonna do this. Okay, so I have some really cute cards. I wanted to show you guys my cards that I posted on my blog Friday using the Artistry Bloom set, but I can't find them. And I may have left them at my mom's house or they're outside in my summer home. I am not sure what has happened to them, but this is the Hand Drawn Blooms stamp set, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then we have the Banner Blooms dies. Oh, look, I didn't get the purples out of there. Hang on a second. You guys know that I don't like to leave the things in my dies because I want them ready to rock the next time I have to use them. This is the first time anything's actually ever stuck in there because everything has pretty much just fallen out, which is the way I like a die. Okay, so these are the dies. This is the gorgeous shimmer paper. This is called rainbow shimmer paper. Look at how amazing that is. Like, oh, so pretty, right? So we're going to be using this on one of our cards. Yep. Nope. Two, both cards. We're going to use this. 
One of the things that I really like about this paper, you guys, is that it doesn't shed glitter. You can look in here, there would be glitter piled up. There is no shedding of the glitter from this paper, and that makes it amazing to me. I love that it doesn't, it's not messy, right? And then we're also going to be using the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper. This is so pretty and so very colorful. I love it. And I've got the Playful Pets Trim Combo Pack. We're going to be using this black and white um, Baker's Twine because I love black and white Baker's Twine. I was so excited to see this come back. And of course, the stitched red ribbon is really cute too. I haven't used it yet, but I will. And I love that I can get this in a combo pack. So this is called Playful Pets Trim Combo Pack. And before I forget, anybody needs to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps all my free videos coming to you. This is my current host code. When you're prompted for a host code, this is the one you're going to use. But if your order is over $150, please do not use that host code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have those. So do not use the code if your order is over $150. But please do use it if it's under $150. That's what helps me be able to give away prizes every week. So we're also going to be using the Artistry Blooms Adhesive Backed Sequins. And these little buggers, of course, who doesn't like a sequin that's already got a glue dot on the back of it, right? They're super easy to use and very, very pretty. They have kind of an iridescent quality to them. Not kind of, they do have an iridescent quality and then they're colored, so very pretty. Here's some of the stamps from the stamp set. Let's see, how many stamps are in here? There's 11 different stamps in here. And then, just like I said, um, Pauline is one, the stamp set. This is the happiest of birthdays stamp set. I love big greetings. I cannot lie. All my other friends. No, I'm not going to sing for you. And you'll be glad that I don't. But um, you know that song, I Love Big Butts? And I always have to sing it when I talk about liking big greetings. So um, <laughs> this is one of my favorites for eat the front of the card, the inside of the card, whatever you happen to need. All right, let me set this stuff aside. Now, where did my cards just go that I'm going to make for you? Um, hang on a second. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I set them over here. Whew. I know I just had them. Okay, I'm going to set these aside. Here we go. Here comes our bits and pieces. So, first off, we have a Whisper White card base here. Let me move these away. We have a Whisper White card base here, and this is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter, and I folded it. Now, all of these dimensions can be found on my blog. As soon as I get done here, I will upload this video to YouTube, and then I will put it on my blog and post still photos, all the dimensions. There's even a store there, you guys, with all the ingredients for the products that I'm using in this video. So you head over to my blog, you're gonna find that. There'll be a link in, um, in the description on this Facebook and YouTube video that'll take you right to the correct post. Okay, so we're gonna take Gorgeous Grape and we are going to die cut this beautiful floral image out of that Gorgeous Grape. And you guys know that the magic of TV, I've already done that and look how pretty that is. Isn't that so pretty? All right, so we're gonna set that aside. I've also got a piece of glimmer paper here and it, let's look at this again. I'm going to bring this back out because I specifically placed it where I wanted the colors. So as you can see, the bottom of the sheet, that is the glimmer paper that I use. And we're going to do a little bit of stamping on here because we have these very fun greetings that match up with the banners that are on here. Now, you could take and die cut this part out of white and just trim the edge with all the little bits and put white banners over these if you wanted to. But I like this look for this card. We're gonna just leave it as is. And I am going to stamp my wishing you a happy birthday. And I'm gonna stand up to do this and see if I can get it on there right. Yay! Winning so far, everybody. 
Let me grab my chamois because I don't remember if I'm using this stamp again or not and I want to make sure it's cleaned off. If you don't have a good way to clean your stamps, these chamois are wonderful and you can find it in my online store. It's just S-H-A-M-M-Y chamois. Love them. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to take our glimmer paper and again you can see there's no glitter falling any place that's what makes this so fantastic oh hang on I'm gonna do stamping on the inside of my card before I do anything else because if I mess that up I can fix it if I don't glue anything together yet whoops see just like I almost did right there so this is where I'm bringing in the happiest of birthdays right here this is the it's your day enjoy it and I love the font on this I'm gonna put that right here Ooh, I shouldn't have done that yet hang on I've got a little strip here I should have put my little strip up here first let's see if this is still gonna work good yeah it's gonna look fine I was thinking I may have wanted to put this over that way a little bit but I think it's gonna be just fine it doesn't look weird or anything in my opinion oops I already got the lid off Okay, here we go. Now, I just took a, a half inch piece of the glimmer paper. Where did that go? Right here. Okay, I just took a half inch piece off the side here and I'm going to put this right over on the edge. This is one half by five and a half. And I just thought this would look so pretty when you open up that card. And I'll show you in just a second with the card done. This is a super simple card to make. Oh, this glimmer paper, by the way, I don't know if I gave you the right dimension. It's four by five and a half, so that it just leaves a white margin on both sides here. I've got the green at the bottom on purpose. I don't know why, but I just thought that the stems are gonna cover it up, so it should be at the bottom. I know that makes no sense, but in my head it did, so we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> There's a lot of... <laughs> There's a lot of very strange things that go through my head. And I'm just putting some glue on the bigger pieces. Now, if you were smart, smarter than me, you would actually die cut this on your adhesive sheets and make a sticker out of this whole thing. But apparently, I am not that smart. <laughs> and I'm just going to set this right on here. Oh my gosh. So delicious, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. Do you love it? I absolutely love this. It's just so beautiful. Okay, then I felt like it needed a little something something, right? So I'm gonna bring in some of these blue sequins and we're using our take, take your pick tool to grab some of them. I love this little tool. You can also find this in your store, my store. And um, one thing that I really like about it and highly recommend for this die is the die brush adapter. This is an adapter that you can get for the take your pick tool. Okay, your take your pick tool comes like this and you just unscrew one of the ends and you screw this in there and you have this nifty little brush. And I like to keep the pokey tool on the other end, the paper piercer, whatever you wanna call it, because I use that to poke out little things that don't come out, right? Yeah, I love the take your pick tool adapt or the dye brush adapter. Okay, back back to our regularly scheduled program. I got off on a tangent there. Okay, so here's our sequins on there. And now this is where I'm going to bring in the black and white baker's twine. Or um, yeah, baker's twine. And I think I'm gonna do a fairly big bow. Now, if you don't have one of these bow jigs, you can just tie a bow, it's fine. But I happen to have one of these little buggers. If you want one, all you need is a piece of wood and drill some holes in it and put some nails in it. And that's all there is to this. I actually have a whole video that tells you how to use it, all the spacing on my YouTube channel. So you can go to my YouTube channel. It's under Kelly Atchison and look up Bow Jig, J-I-G, Bow Jig. And you will find instructions on this whole little deal. Okay, we're going to bring out our mini glue dots. Let me see if I can find any on here. Here we go. And I'm going to kind of curl my glue dot up 
because I don't like it sticking out from something that's really small. And I'm just going to put it down here on my stems. And then I'm going to add my little black. I just liked that black and white pop on here. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, I just thought it was kind of cute and quaint and it really added a lot to the card. And look at the inside with that glimmer paper down the side. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I know, I can't stop playing with it. Love the glimmer. Okay, that's our first card. Now, I am featuring the Artistry Blooms bundle of products because I happen to have a brand new online class. If you are on my newsletter list, you got the newsletter. If you've subscribed to my blog, you saw it. If you're watching my Facebook page, I posted the link on there to all the details for my online class. Um, hang on, I just printed them out. So you get, if you order the suite of products from me, you will get the class for free, a pre-cut cardstock pack for nine cards for free. Um, otherwise, you can order the online class with the pre-cut cardstock pack. That's $35 or just the PDF. So this is available globally. The PDF is $20. Video tutorials for nine different cards. You'll have the brief instructions, photographs, dimensions, the whole works. The online classes are really fun. And um, if you order the entire suite from me, you have the opportunity to add an extra pack of the Glimmer Paper on to your um, online class order. The hand-drawn blooms, stamp set, and dies. The artistry blooms designer series paper. The rainbow glimmer paper. The sequins. And then the white crinkled seam binding, which we're gonna use in just a second on the next card. That's all part of that for $102. You get the class for free and the cardstock pack for free. If you are a member of my team, you get all of my online classes for free after you have placed your first discount order. And you have the opportunity to order just the cardstock pack by itself. So that's a big benefit of being a discount shopper with me. And again, if you guys have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to answer them. All right, next, whoops, we gotta clean this yet. What are you guys drinking tonight? I know I asked earlier, but I don't know that anybody actually answered. I am, mm, I am drinking the shake, but you know what I just realized? I don't have my strawberry lemonade in here, and if I get thirsty, this is, you know, it's not much to quench your thirst. Lynn says the green on the bottom is for the grass and the purple up top is for the night sky. Well, that's exactly right. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. See, there is a method to my madness. I may not always know what it is, but there's a method or reason or whatever, however you want to say that. Ooh, we got lots of water drinkers tonight. Cream soda. That sounds delightful. All right. We have another card coming. So... You know that Stampin' Up! demonstrators all over the world are swapping like crazy insane people right now, right? We are making card swaps because we had a brand new catalog come out. Well, with that, you get a whole bunch of really good ideas, and that's why I do card swaps is to share ideas with you guys, to get ideas for myself so that I can play on those ideas. And that's where this card tonight comes from. I received a swap card from Marge Eberhard in Shawano, Wisconsin. I don't know that I've ever met Marge, but I should. And um, she made a fun fold, and I'm calling it a corner tuck fun fold. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it. So first of all, we're going to start off with some really pretty colors. We've got Coastal Cabana. My um, friend Dina says that Coastal Cabana is the color that ensures God has given us that color because he loves us. <laughs> I love it when she says that. It's so cute. This is the color that ensures God loves us. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. This piece of cardstock is four and a quarter by seven and three quarters, and we're going to score it at five and a half. And if you guys are in the market for a new paper trimmer, this one is really nice. It's only $25, and it comes with a scoring and a cutting blade, and also an arm that reaches out to 17 inches. 
17. There was my Vanna impression. How'd you like it? All right, hang on. I gotta put my hair up because I'm sweating like a pig, so that may be too much information. Oh, somebody earlier asked me if I turned my air on. So we did turn it on briefly last week, and what we found is it's not working well. We do have central air, but we never use it. And um, the, it's not working well, so Steve turned it off. We bought this portable air conditioner, and that works really good, but of course our house is kind of big for it to cool the whole thing, right? It cools the kitchen off really nice. Um, that's why we have our summer home in the driveway, because that has air conditioning, and I'm thinking tonight we're sleeping in there. <laughs> That's a good reason to have a summer home. Okay, so I just folded this. I need to shut my mouth and stamp, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I finally did turn the air on, and um, it just didn't work very great. Yeah, so that's kind of creepy. But Steve said he needs to clean the coils, and then it'll work better. I don't know. Um, but it is hot here in Wisconsin. So I folded that little flap, okay? Now we have a 2 by 4 inch piece of the Designer Series paper. And this is from the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper. So this is one side, and then this is the other side. And I, I took my colors based on the coordinating colors that go with this paper, right? So here's Coastal Cabana. And we are going to, we can take this right away and glue it right on this little flap over here. And that's just the perfect size to handle two by four. Okay, next thing we have here is Whisper White, and this is four by five and a quarter. And we are going to stamp our sentiment in there. And here we go. This is going to be my friend. So grateful to have a friend like you. And of course, you guys know you can stamp any sentiment on the inside that you want. But I like these general ones, so I could use this as a little note to send to a friend. I could send it out as a thank you card. I like my cards to be kind of, what do you call that? Um, versatile. Yes, that's what I was looking for. All right, then we are going to take these two pieces. We're not going to do anything with them yet, but I'm going to tell you the dimensions. This is three by three and three quarters. Nope, sorry, I lied. This is two and three quarters by three and a half. This is three by three and three quarters. So this is going to layer on here. Let's set that aside for a second. We're gonna get out our amazing, beautiful paper again. And what I wanted out of this was, I cut a piece that was about this big and I ran this flower through here just like this, okay? So I cut my paper and I ran it through my Big Shot just like this because all I want is this floral part up here. And once I did that, <gasps> this is what I came up with. Look at how beautiful. You've got like that ombre effect happening here. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it right on this layer, okay? So again, if I was smarter, like you guys, <laughs> I would have used some adhesive sheets on this to make it a sticker, but I was not that smart. It must be the residual effect of the margaritas yesterday that made me go to bed at nine o'clock <laughs> and have sucked all of my reasoning out of my brain. I think that's what has happened here. Okay, so I just put some glue on some of the bigger pieces here. I'm gonna push this all the way to the bottom of this layer. Now, if you wanted to, let me make sure I get it on the bottom. I don't want any bottom sticking out here. Ugh, it's drying already, meh. There we go. Um, if you wanted to, you could trim the edges. Okay, you can see there's a little bit sticking over the edges, but I just think it's kind of charming to leave it like that. And now we're gonna add that to this layer. So, isn't that pretty? Mm. I love this shimmer paper. When you fill out your form to order the um, whole entire s product suite from me to get this online class for free, don't forget you have the opportunity to say yes or no if you'd like an extra pack of the shimmer paper. And so far most people are getting an extra pack. Okay, now we're gonna take this and we're going to adhere it to our card. And we can do this right now. There's, there's a, some other things that are gonna happen here. 
but we can do this part right now and I recommend it because nothing is like distracting us from getting this in the center of our card. I want this in the center and I want it straight. So, so far it's like, meh, whatever, Kelly. Hang tight, it gets better. Okay, now we have a two and a quarter by two and a quarter inch piece of Coastal Cabana. And then we have our designer series paper and this is two by two. We're gonna bring our paper trimmer back in and we are going to cut these diagonals. So when you get done with this part, you're actually gonna have enough to make another card. So I just put this in here so that the tip is in the channel, okay? And now we've got these pieces. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. I'm putting it in so the point is in the channel and the point is in the channel, so I'm gonna cut it directly in half. And you gotta kinda hang on to it so it doesn't move. And now we have this going on, okay? We're gonna take one of these and set it aside because we're only using one. We don't need both of them. But if you made another card, you would already be have that part ready to roll. We're gonna put some glue on there. We're gonna attach it to our Coastal Cabana layer. Okay. And then, oh, where did my dimensionals go? Hang on, they're here someplace. Well, I don't know what happened to them. Here's some. I had some out. Now I've lost them. Oh, and everything's falling. Hang on. <laughs> we have a whole thing going on here. Where did that little piece go now? Here it is. Okay, so we're going to take this. Sorry, you guys. And we're going to put dimensionals in the three corners. Okay? You don't want a dimensional here because that's where the tuck part comes in. Oh, and I have another card to show you too using this and I didn't even show it to you. So don't go any place because I need to show that to you. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right up to the edge of our Whisper White layer. I'm gonna move this so I can see what's going on here. I don't wanna see the Whisper White out from underneath of this. There we go. So see how cool that looks? Yeah. And now we're going to glue this inside our card. And, yeah, somebody said you could use the triangle dies for this part. Yep, you sure could. And I do have them. And now your card closes just like that. It tucks it right in that little corner because we mounted it on the dimensionals. Cool, right? Okay, we're not done yet. So hang tight. I gotta find, oh, I found the other card, so don't worry. Um, let's see. We're gonna do some of that Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding. Okay, I told you that I, this is part of the online class, and I'm going to Let's see, how big do I want my bow to be? I don't want it to be this big. I want it to be one and a half inches long. Again, if you don't have one of these, just a type bow. But I like using it because it's easy and your bows are perfect every single time. There we go. And then I'm just going to cut these tails. Maybe. Sometimes your tails are a little smarter than you are. <laughs> like now. Oh my lord. There we go. And mini glue dot. And then I'm just going to put that right up here in the corner. Just like that. And I just thought that was a cute little embellishment. Look how neat that is. Isn't that fun? I love it. Oh, Colleen wants to know how big the card base was. This is four and a quarter by seven and three quarters, and then I scored it at five and a half. Good question. And again, all of these dimensions will be found on my blog after we're done. All right, so I also made some other colors. So let me show you. Now this one is kind of the same card, 
only instead of my green to blue going um, horizontally, I've got the green to blue going vertically. Oh, and I forgot these. Hang on. We got to put some bling on here. I'm just going to do a few of these little sequins to add that iridescent bling, right? Isn't that pretty? Okay, so this one, the, sh the glimmer paper was a little different. We've got green to blue, and this one is green to blue. Fun. Same exact card. Then I made one with the other one of the other patterns of paper, the back side of this blue, okay? And I used um, Misty Moonlight for my card base. What do you think of that? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? And again, this just tucks right under there. And then I wanted to show you, we have this one and then I made this one, and all I did was take my glimmer paper and cut it like this. Okay, so I've got the yellow into the pink going into the purple. And for this one, I took it and cut it like this. So I've got the green into the blue, the rainbow, the rainbow effect. So there we go, guys. Lots of really pretty fun ideas with this glimmer paper and again the thing that I love about it most is that it doesn't shed you don't see any glitter laying around here on my table it is very clean doesn't shed it's not falling apart yay wonderful thank you Brenda thank you Diane you guys are so sweet Wendy says she loves the misty moonlight I really do too I love that color it's like blue jean color right it's really fun hang on I'm getting a drink it's not as easy in a shake <laughs> like I really have to use my well I'm not gonna get into that <laughs> The straw, it's hard to get it out of the straw. Okay, let me put some of this stuff out of my way so I can show you my beautiful mail that I got this week. Holy cow, you guys are just so sweet and so generous. I've got some just beautiful cards to show you. Get all this stuff out of my way. Whoops, there went my scissors. And... Clean off all the mess. Okay, here we go. Set these aside. And mail. Oh, let's do, I'm gonna bring in, we'll do the presents first. <laughs> I got a box of sunshine in the mail. This was so, so sweet. Okay, so this is from Priscilla. Sedawan from Granada Hills, California. Look at this beautiful paper pumpkin card. This is so, so cute. And when you pull the top, the bottom comes out. And it's a birthday card. It says, happy birthday, hoping your day is perfect. Isn't that cool? Yeah, who doesn't love to play with a moving card? <laughs> I will play with this forever. It's so cute. And <clears throat> Priscilla said, Hope you have a wonderful birthday. Just wanted to send you this box of sunshine to hopefully brighten your day just a little bit more. Thank you for the, all the inspiration. I never get tired of watching your videos. That is so sweet. And she put in some post-it notes because we like to use those for masking, right? And then there's some Ghirardelli mini milk chocolate caramels in here. A papaya peel off mask. This is really cool and I can't wait to wear it make it, use it. <laughs> I am going to have fun with that. A Target gift card, an air freshener, peanut M&Ms. How did you know I do love peanut M&Ms? My favorite sour patches, a highlighter, some lip gloss. I think it's lip gloss. That's what I put it on earlier today, so I hope it's not a glue stick. <laughs> I think it's a lip gloss. 
or maybe a glue stick on my lips wouldn't be bad. My husband would love that. And then these cute little socks at the beehive that say, I'm busy. And these are so soft. I love these. Is this not the sweetest thing? These box of sunshine ideas that um, our CEO Sarah came up with, I think are just, just a fabulous idea. And I am going to thoroughly enjoy all the goodies in here. I'm gonna keep these out. <laughs> I'll put them by my caramels. <laughs> Thank you so much, Priscilla. This has just made my day. This was so sweet. I had to put this back with this. But how sweet was that? And then Andy Aguisto. Holy cannoli, lady. This is crazy. So let me show you all this fun stuff. So this is for baby Val for J Haley and Jared. And it says, you're just the sweetest. Baby Val, welcome to the world, welcome to your new family, and welcome to the Stampin' Up! family as well. You are a true blessing to so many. May you always find love and happiness from your family and all those around you. Welcome, Baby Val. God bless you always. And Diaquisto. And I, this is just, can you guys see? She used like the um, fine tip glue pen to make the seeds on the lemons shiny and it's just so this is such a cute card and this is what came in here oh my lord look at how cute they are <laughs> i just love these and this and the shirt matches look at how cute this is the shirt and the shorts and the card like how sweet is that people are so kind and generous and loving i just i'm in awe and thank you so much. Val is going to look just adorable in this little outfit. And then I have to tell you about this. Oh, she sent me the strawberry card. And she said it was a card idea that she had. The basket could be done with, um, could be done with the Coastal Weave folder. Yep. And she says, have a fun... Or, anyways, it's just a fun summer card using the heart punch. So these strawberries are made out of the heart punch and the um, the floral frame punch becomes the stems and it's so so cute isn't that just adorable what a sweet idea I love the little crate here the classic label punch to punch that out I thought that was really sweet I'm gonna put the she sent me the directions in it, so I'm going to put those back in there. But I just thought that was so cute. And then, are you guys ready for this? Look at this card. Like, holy cow. Holy cow. What? Look at how awesome that is. You bring color to my world. Isn't this just spectacular? Like, wow. I open this up, I'm like, oh my lord. So this is a birthday card. And Anne says, Kelly, life is full of ups and downs, especially lately with the world today. Your positive attitude, energy, and humor have helped many of us get through the downs. You have brought bright colors to our world, so I wanted to bring some color to your special day. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Thanks for being you. Isn't that sweet? Like, ah, so sweet. And look at the shirt. I can't wait to wear this. Hang on, let me get the sticker off. Live in the sunshine. This is totally me. Like, this is a shirt that I would see at the store and go, I have to have this. Thank you so much, Anne. This is so very sweet. I am in love with the shirt. Yep. And thank you for the fun birthday present. Very, very sweet. Haley, I want to see Val in this. <laughs> I'm going to set this over here for Haley and Val because they'll be coming tomorrow, I think. I hope. I miss her. She better. <laughs> she better be here tomorrow. And I'll put that over there. And where did that? Oh, here's the other box. That other box. I got to put that in there. All right. So now I have amazing cards to share with you. I have tons and tons. How are you guys doing? Are you hanging in there with me? Card. I just want to make sure I didn't drop any over the side into the abyss. Because <laughs> that happens a lot. 
Okay, this is from Kareen Mariki. And Kareen is from Hawaii. She is my first team member from Hawaii. So, isn't this beautiful? She used the ornate garden and stamped and colored a flower over the gold flowers. And I thought that was just so clever. Very, very pretty, right? And she was thanking me for all the help that I've given her. She ran into a few glitches, but we've got it all worked out now. So very, very pretty, Kareen. Thank you so much. I love this. And it's kind of shimmery too. Very pretty. Let me put this over here. And then we have Trudy Hudson. Trudy, I was happy to see a card from you. The world needs more people like you. And it says, happy birthday. Hope you have an extra special day with lots of spoiling. <gasps> I do too. <laughs> it's almost my birthday. Oh, and look, we've got um, Kareen put some designer paper on the envelope. I can't forget to show that because, I, you know, I like that. Then we have this beautiful 4th of July card, and this is coming from Susan Hine. And this was really very pretty. It came with some sequins in it. And let me see what we got here. So, she says, Happy birthday, Kelly. I hope you will be blessed with radiant health and many happy adventures as the next 12 months unfold. Your new friend, Susan. And... Then I got an anniversary card because Saturday was Steve and my anniversary. And so she's celebrating my anniversary. I thought that was really sweet. And then she wrote a little poem. And this is about, you guys know that the Stampin' Up! Maui trip, I should be leaving tomorrow to go to Maui, but it's been canceled as has the rest of the world, right? <laughs> It says, the Maui trip denied. See beneath a shaded spruce, a couple side by side who watch a quiet sil river flow instead of tranquil tide. Wisconsin views will have to do since Maui was denied and yet they have a tiki bar. So I have had a hunch that celebrations might include some light pineapple punch. So she's using tranquil tide, shaded spruce, pineapple punch, all stamping up colors. And who needs surfing, luau's, and such, or macadamia nuts when cheddar cheese and local brats are favorites just as much? <laughs> Happy anniversary to Kelly and to Steve, and may our good Lord bless your day with laughter and with peace. And how sweet is that? I loved this. I got the biggest chuckle out of it. Thank you so much, Susan. What a special, what a special poem. Then I got this beauty. This comes to me from Marilyn Pearson. And this came to me from Canada. And is this not just beautiful? Like everything about it is so, so pretty. I love the layout. Happy birthday, Kelly. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Be sure Steve takes you out for lunch. You deserve it. You know I do. <laughs> I am looking for forward to going out to lunch yeah so thank you very very much Marilyn then we have this beautiful thank you card and this is from Judith and look at how pretty that is I love this this is gold embossed it's so so gorgeous I know I think Haley was looking at this when I got it last week and she's like, oh, look at the embossing. And I'm like, oh, I know, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for challenging me to be more creative by crafting these opportunities for us, creating these opportunities for us. So glad I decided to join your team. Looking forward to summer challenges. Judith, I am so happy to have you on my team. Judith um, did a demonstration for us and it was fantastic. Our last team meeting, all of my team meetings are virtual right now, you know, of course, while we're doing the COVID. And even when we don't have the COVID, I still do Facebook Live so that everybody on my team, no matter where they're located in the country, can watch. So it's a lot of fun. And Judith did a fantastic theater card presentation for us that was just wonderful. Next, we have Becky Miltenberger. Look at how cute that is, that little ladybug. And I love these little green spriggies sticking up. Hope your birthday brings you a special kind of happiness and leaves you with the nicest kind of memories. Hope you have a fabulous day. Happy birthday, Becky. And thank you so much, Becky. This is just adorable. I wish that ladybug card or stamp set would have um, made it into the big catalog. 
And this is from Rita Childs. Look at how pretty it is. Oh my goodness, I love it. It is absolutely stunning. And she says, Kelly, may your birthday be the best. I wanna say thank you for all the times you spent with us during when, when COVID-19 took over our lives. You helped me laugh when I really needed it. You helped get rid of my stress when it got too much. Your cards are always beautiful. I just hope you like this card I cased from someone on Pinterest. Hope you get to really party and rest and relax with Val. Rita, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. This is gorgeous. I love that pop of foil paper in there. Isn't that pretty? And the brick designer paper in good taste. This is so, so pretty. Yes, I should wear the sunshine shirt on my birthday with my birthday crown. Haley, make sure that birthday crown comes home tomorrow. <laughs> that was an order from your mother. We have a special birthday crown in case you guys missed that. Look at how pretty this is. This is just absolutely beautiful. I love this card. This is from Sandy Young. And look at it, it opens right here. Life's showers bring love's flowers. Isn't that so, so pretty? Yeah, I love this. It's the colors, the designer paper, it's all just stunning. Sandy says, just a note to thank you for the daily lives you did for so many weeks. I enjoy your stories and laugh at the daily updates on your neighbor, John. <laughs> Congrats on your beautiful baby, Val. She's adorable. I hope you have a great summer and get to use your summer home often. Sandy, thank you. Thank you very much. And I will be using my summer home. Look, we have more, and whoops, I'll cover up her address. More envelope, beautifulness, yeah. All right, then we have from Karen Gondon. <gasps> Treat yourself, kick up your heels, it's time to celebrate. I love this little set, isn't it cute? Look at this. Happiest of birthdays to you, your stampin' friend Karen. Very, very adorable. These little zebras are stinking the cutest thing ever. Love them. Oh, and then this came from my mother-in-law, Steve's mom, sent us a happy anniversary card and look how pretty that is. Yeah, I opened it up and I'm like, where did she get that card? <gasps> my sister-in-law Pam made it. She is a master stamper and scrapbooker. It says, wishing you a lifetime of happiness. I love mom and I know that Pam made it because there's her initials. Thank you so much, Joanne and Pam, for this beautiful card. I love it. Then we have another gorgeous card. This comes to us from Rose Bell. Look at how fun that is. I love this. And she's got Wink of Stella all over the red, white, and blues. Happy 4th of July. Thank you for, thank you for everything you show and teach us every week. Rose, you are so welcome. Thank you for this adorable Fourth of July card. I love it. Then we have Cindy Kittner, and I like the colors on this card. I open it up, I'm like, oh, that is so pretty. Happy birthday. Kelly, wishing you a birthday that holds all the happiness your heart can imagine. Hope this crazy year just keeps getting better and better for you. Happy birthday, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. I love your card. It is gorgeous. I loved this paper. Loved it. There's a lot of love tonight, isn't there? <laughs> okay, so I have to show you this one. Hang on. This is from Barbara Pike, and it says, Wishing you much happiness today and always. Are you ready? Happy anniversary. And it's an easel card. Look how cute it is. I love easel cards. They are just, they're just something special, aren't they? And they're not hard to make. We should make more easel cards, but... Yeah, it was like, oh, look at that. That is so fun. Thank you so much, Barbara. You are so sweet. Then, oh, and Barbara made her envelope. It's made out of cardstock to match the card. Isn't that cool? Yeah, very neat. Then we have a card here. Hang on, this is from Diane, oh, hang on, Diana Mahar. Are you ready for this? What? Look at that. Look at how cool that is. 
So I have never seen a card made like this ever, but these slide back and forth. Well, let me show you the inside first because I like just was so engrossed with the way it's folded. But look at that. This is a birthday card. And this piece right here kind of slides back and forth. You can pull it forward so that it's even with the edge. Look at that. Now that's some paper engineering, folks. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, pretty darn cool. Uh-huh, I don't know. I think I'll have to figure this one out. It's pretty neat, but thank you so much, Diana. This is awesome, I love it. She says, happy birthday. Been watching you for quite a while now and think you're great. You are so talented along with Haley. Thanks for all you do, big hugs. Diana, thank you so much. You are so sweet. But yeah, this card, I've never seen one like this before, so we might have to do something with that. <gasps> Happy birthday! Look at this, this is from Nell De Silva. Look at how pretty this is. And I love that she put paper on the inside right here. It's at the bottom, right? But then she's got it up here, and I thought that was so sharp. Very, very pretty, Nell. I love the poppy paper. Mm. Beautiful, thank you. We've got another envelope here with some designer paper on it. Oh, and look at it matches. How cute. The ladybugs. Super sweet. It says, you're cute as a bug. Have a wonderful birthday, Haley. Oh, this was Haley's birthday card. <laughs> Haley, I'll give this to you, but I did open it. Sorry, Kathy. This is from Kathy Showalter from Port Washington. I'll make sure Haley gets it, but I thought it was super duper cute. Look at all the little ladybugs in here. Hang on, I'm gonna put it on Haley's side with Val's outfit. <laughs> and then, oh, this is for Haley too. This is from Nell De Silva. Look at how pretty that is. It's a beautiful day. Happy birthday. Isn't that sweet? Love this layout. This is really fun. Nell, you are a dear, and I'm gonna make sure Haley gets that one. And then we have, from also from Kathy Showalter, is my birthday card. And look how pretty that is. Just beautiful. Happy birthday, Kelly. Hope your day is filled with everything you love. Happy, happy birthday to you. Kathy, thank you so much. This is just so adorable. I loved this cake set. Oh, and envelope. She embossed the envelope flap. I love that. And here comes, look at the peony. This is one of our new sweets in the big catalog, you guys, the peony. And this is from Luba. And Luba, your last name is Ballas, I believe, from Rochester, New York. Look how pretty that is. Happy birthday, wishing you a day full of fun. Luba, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah. And I think, hang on. Yep, I did read that note. I don't want to leave anything out here. I think I got all the cards, you guys. I'm going to flip the camera around, so hang tight. Don't get sick on me. There I am with my hair up because it's hot. <laughs> I, did. I didn't have any hot flashes, though, so everything went good. Terry, um, you won a prize. If you missed that, please send me your email me your address. I didn't have Terry's address, right? Yes, Terry, I need your address. What color is that paper and ink? Well, um, are you talking about this card? Because I missed your question when I was doing things like that. So, and this, I think, is um, Peekaboo Peach. We don't have that anymore. Uh. How long are the nails in your bow jig? Okay, hang on. Where did it go? It's here somewhere. Here it is. It really doesn't matter, but I will measure them for you because you can have them be any size. So these nails are three inches. That's what I thought. They're, they're three inches. This is what the nail looks like. It's got, you know, not much of a head on the end of it. But some people like to use little dowels to make their bow jig. I prefer the nails because what happens with the dowels is the dowels aren't slippery with your ribbon, so it kind of sticks to them. It's not as easy to use. Okay, good. Terry got my message. Yay! So this is the bow jig. These two middle holes, okay, here's the middle holes. 
These two middle holes are one inch apart and then the holes on the outside are half an inch from the other hole. Does that make sense? So half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. That's it. Just a chunk of wood with some holes drilled in it, you guys. It's that simple. If you want to get fancy, this one's kind of fancy because they routered the edges and the whole thing. But this one is fancy because it has holes in the end, which is great for traveling because your nails fit right in there. And then you can travel with it. And when I was doing stamp clubs and stuff like that, it was really nice for that because I could put my nails in there and not lose them. But you don't have to have anything that fancy. Here we go. So this makes a little tiny bow, make a bigger bow, make a bigger bow, and now you can make giant bows <laughs> and really obnoxious bows. <laughs> yeah. So there's your bow jig. Da -da -da. Okay. I think we're done, you guys. I had a lot of fun tonight. I hope you enjoyed the cards. Um, like I said, I love the Artistry Blooms. If you're interested in getting more information about my online class, it does have nine cards in it. So, I mean, that's a lot of that's a lot of cards for you. And they're cards that you'll never see. Um, we do not show them any place besides, whoops, that's the same, besides the online class. So, yeah, you'll get some real fun ideas, step-by-step -step tutorials. The online class by itself is $20, $35 with the pre-cut cardstock pack for nine cards. Or you can get the online class and the cardstock pack free with when you purchase $102 bundle from me of all the products. So you get the other things free. Now, I'm going to be cutting up extras of the pre-cut cardstock packet. Oh, and that reminds me, I still have... Um, several of the nothing's better than kit class left. So if anybody's interested in getting their hands on that, I do have, I did cut extra pre-cut cardstock packs, so I wouldn't run out. And if you ordered it from me, but haven't gotten a shipment yet, I was waiting for a product to come in on Friday. I have a big box sitting in my kitchen. It is either my, my holiday catalog pre-order or it's all the stuff for the kits that people have ordered since my first shipment went out. So, yeah, kits are a lot of fun. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I will get this video downloaded, regardless of whether you're watching now on Facebook or later on YouTube. Please click on that share button. Give me a thumbs up. All of that helps me out. It helps me grow my business. I really appreciate it. You can share this video right now to your profile. You never know who in your friends list might be interested in stamping or is a stamper and you didn't know it. You might have a new stamping friend. <laughs> I will be back as far as I know next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, if I'm not, I will make other arrangements and let you guys know in advance, but I don't anticipate that I'm going anyplace. But I, I do have my summer home here, so I don't know. I told Steve that we might have to go someplace. And you know what he said? Nothing. He gave me this look. <laughs> Want to see it again? <laughs> Whatever. I can jump in that truck and I can leave with my summer home all by myself. I used to haul horses in horse trailers. So I This girl, daughter of truck drivers, she can back a trailer. <laughs> I am not afraid. All right, you guys. Have yourselves a wonderful week. I will have a tip video on Wednesday. I did not have one this last week because I don't remember, but something was going on that I had too much on my plate. So I will have a great tip video for you this Wednesday. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you for the anniversary wishes. You guys are so sweet. I so appreciate it. And um, don't forget, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, if you'd like to get your hands on that holiday mini catalog, which I have now lost. No, it's here. I lost my cards, though. I don't know what happened to them. If you um, would like to get your hands on this mini catalog, all you need to do is place an order with me. Um, I did do my mailing selector for the holiday mini catalog. So if you've placed an order from me in the last six months that was $50 or more, you are automatically on my holiday mini catalog list. Now, 
don't panic. If you did not place an order with me in the last six months that was $50 or more and you would like this catalog, just let me know. I'm happy to send one to you. Um, that's just how I sort and can add people to my mailing list because like I don't want to bring in my whole customer list because I've got people on there who haven't ordered from me in years. You know what I'm saying? So that's just kind of how I sort it. I figure if you've ordered from me in the last six months, you're interested, right? <laughs> and we have to pay for all this. It's quite spendy. <laughs> yeah, so I'm always happy to send out mini, mini catalogs. You guys have yourselves a wonderful week. Stay cool. I might go jump in the pool now because I'm pretty warm. Bye-bye.